Welcome to another food and wine segment in lifestyle and entertainment. It's Friday. We made it to the end of the week and today we'll be talking going raw with Dr. Aris Latham, raw food expert and founder of Sunfried Institute and Stasia Davidson, founder of Raw Challenge JA. So tell us, what is a raw food diet? I coined raw to mean ripe, awakened, and wholesome. So sun-fired foods, plant foods that come out of a stoveless kitchen. So right here where we are, we're, we're stoveless right now. What are the benefits of maintaining a raw food diet? For me, the benefits has been um, not only physical, mental, emotional, because I realize now that your food actually affects your mood as well. Then for others who joined me on it, they have had um, their fibroids have shrunk. Um, those who have PCOS, their symptoms were alleviated. Some persons who had cysts on their ovaries, those disappeared. And just a host of other benefits. How creative can meals actually get? This way of eating is more varied than any other way. For most people on the meat diet, for them to get variety, they full up their plate and a big feast or something like that, a brush, chicken, fish, goat, or six different meat. And everything, again, it's very, very limited. No, what we do at Sunfire, we teach you how to create unlimited variety of dishes you know so realistically any dish that anyone can make uh through cooking we can come up with something sun fired something raw that would at least get you to associate with it and finally tell us about the gimme raw virtual retreat this weekend dr aris will be um, taking charge and he'll be sharing, you know, the science of good eating. Um, we'll go, we'll take in a deep dive into that. Also sharing how to create tasty, flavorful appetizer, main course, dessert, mm -hmm. just a variety of meals. Because once you have the principles, um, you'll be able to, to create and be even more resourceful. It's about what's in your kitchen, you know, using what you mm -hmm. have, what's in mm -hmm. season, where you are from, because we're in a global Space, you know, so uh, Jamaica mango might be um, in season now, but somewhere else another fruit in season. Well, that's it for lifestyle today. Moving on to some entertainment. Grammy-winning reggae artiste Coffee has officially been added to the April 2022 Coachella lineup. The announcement was made on Wednesday via the festival's social media pages and will be the Toast Singer's first time performing at the festival. Also, in entertainment, popular dancehall entertainer Spranger Benz causes a stir on social media after Minister of Health Christopher Tufton expressed his displeasure with the entertainment's recent song release. The track, entitled Vaccinated, accuses the government of being corrupt and questions the point of vaccination if it does not protect the public from contracting the virus. Well, that's it for lifestyle and entertainment. We're lifestyle at cvmtv.com or you can call, text, WhatsApp 876-819-5916. And it's a Chinese Zhejiang from me.